Hey guys, welcome back. This is RobNob9x. Uh, sorry it's been a little while since my last video. Um, I've just been crazy busy and haven't actually done that much printing. But this is the T-Rex skull, which I'm sure you will recognise from uh, you know Thingiverse. And I think MakerBot was it who um, actually produced and gave off this file. So I printed it just in cheapy red filament. Um, just because I feel like I had to print this, everyone does. Um, but what I want to show is that, uh, ignore the teeth because they're a bit, look a bit funny if I show you there. Um, the uh, the flash wash finder isn't the best at doing kind of small points. Um, so the jaw is done in uh, that position, how it stands like that. That's how the jaw is printed. Let's get the focus a bit better there. And then the skull, the head bit, is printed in, where's the back of it? In that position like that going up. Um, but what I did to test out is actually uh, add this on. So this is just some nail polish or nail varnish, whatever it's called. Um, and I'm not sure if it will focus on here. Let me tap the screen and see. Um, will it focus on that bit? There you go. You can just see it where it says ethyl acetate. It's the first ingredient. So that is meant to, as far as I know, kind of soften the PLA or dissolve it slightly, something like this. Um, and so I thought I'd give it a go, and it actually worked pretty well. Uh, the front of the nose actually put a bit too much on, so it looks a bit funny there. But it smoothed it down quite nicely. And the reflection you're seeing on the screen, you don't see as much in real life. So you don't see anywhere near, near as much reflection of light as when you first print. And every layer reflects the light slightly differently, so you get that kind of shimmery effect. And um, so, as you can see at the bottom here, it actually looks quite smooth. And, I mean, you can still kind of see some layering, but... I've only put, um, in fact, I've only put one coat on the jaw, and it looks a lot better if you ask me. And then obviously one more layer, you probably uh, eliminate most of that layering. And see from the, the uh, head, there's not too much layering that you can see on that, so it's not bad at all. So just to get the difference, I printed off the head again without uh, without adding any uh, ethyl acetate onto it. Um, and oops, sorry about the wobble in there. So. As you can see the difference here so this does look quite smooth but the reflection really you know i don't know some, sometimes the reflection can be fine it can look good because it almost looks shiny but it kind of makes it look almost wet in a way whilst this one here um, i think makes quite a big difference using that ethyl acetate on it so it's definitely worth a try um, and see how you like it so you can see a lot of kind of shine there like that Sometimes, yep, yeah, sometimes it doesn't look too bad, but other times I feel like adding this on really makes it a difference. It kind of softens it. It almost, almost makes it look more real um, rather than a kind of, well, a printed product. Um, so, yeah, have a go. See what you think with that. Um, and I also, just to show, I just printed, I've reached it, the big skull as well. So let me come out here. Yeah, so this one's really cool. Um, so in white, I'm not even sure if I will put the ethyl acetate on because... Because it's so large, the layering you can't even see really, but also um, the shine in this is not too much. Um, this is BQ, I think, filament. Um, it actually comes out really nicely. Uh, so I'm actually really happy with that. Um, again, the teeth, uh, a bit better than when they're done really small, because that was a really small scale, those other ones. I mean, you can look at the difference there. Um, but they're still a tiny bit of uh, funkiness, but I feel like that could be filed down quite easily. Um, and it's, it's not too noticeable. And if anything, it kind of just makes it look like serrated teeth. So it looks pretty cool. But yeah, there we go. So there's the, uh, the small one, just a uh, random head. And there we are. So um, yep, good things to print and give the uh, nail polish with the ethyl acetate a go and see how you feel. I've got a coloured one as well, so I might use that and see how that looks on it. So uh, you can, it's equivalent of painting it, I guess, and filling slash dissolving it slightly. But uh, yeah, I'll keep on trying and see how it does, and I'll uh, definitely make some videos of the other results. Cheers, bye.